I think last weekend it hit a peak of 157% renewables. Would have been greater if the um, whole of Project Energy Connect had been completed by now. Um, there was an interesting event with min minimum system load. Um, I think there was warnings issued by the Australian Energy Market Operator almost every day last week or in the past week. Eventually, on three occasions, they had to put the Torrens Island battery on standby, basically telling it to sort of discharge in the morning, stand there on empty and wait for an instruction to come to sort of create demand to keep the grid stable. Now, in the end, that final instruction wasn't issued. And this sounds like a bad, complicated thing, but I just think it's kind of... Um, um, it's a bit like when you start to talk about high prices, they can actually be a good thing because they can encourage people to invest in certain technologies. And this is what we're doing here. And we're kind of in this sort of transition period where we're managing these sort of big uh, swings. Um, and the minimum system load is quite fascinating, but I think a lot of these batteries and electrification and other demand shifts will kind of, um, will kind of um, address that. But anyway, I think it's really interesting and I get very excited about it. And so do our readers, because our minimum load story was by far our most read story this week. So there you go. Yes, that's great. 